Hey, welcome to Mark's Piano Theory. My name is Mark. Today, I'm going to teach you the four most important chords to know on piano. I truly believe that chords are the most important thing to learn when you want to play popular music on piano or start to improvise. Now, if you would want to learn all of the major and minor chords, there's a total of 24 and I think that's a little bit too much. So today, let's begin with the four most common chords and then I will teach you these other chords another time. So just in case you don't know what a chord is, let me explain it quickly. A chord is basically a combination of three, four or five notes. And today I'm going to teach you four chords that all have three notes in them. So the first chord I'm going to teach you is what we call the C major chord. And then I will teach you the F, the G and the A chord. Okay, so it will be C major. F major, G major, but for A, I'm going to teach you the minor chord. So what do these chords look like? Well, for C major, you're going to put your thumb on C, and you play E and G on top of that. And we have C major, okay? So I can write that down, C, E, and G. For F major, we're going to play F, A, and C. For G major, G, B, and D. And for A minor, you play A, C, and E. These are the four most commonly played chords in any piano song. I'm not saying that they're in every song, but in a lot of songs you will find a few of these chords. So now that you kind of know these chords, we have to practice them a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to start by playing this chord, the C major chord, and we're going to play it just like this, C, E, G, and we're going to play it four times, and then we will be moving on to this chord right here, the G. Okay, so from C, we're going to G. Let's see what that looks like. Played four times, and now to G, so G, B, D. And now you go to A minor, so A, C, E. Played four times. And F, A, C. Okay. So let's do that one more time. Like that. If you have trouble to play this quick, that's completely okay. Okay, let's maybe just play every chord once. So slowly. And then move to GBD. A, C, E, and F, A, C. Okay, maybe it sounds a little bit familiar. Okay, um, these are the chords that are being used in letter B, for instance. Okay, so what I want you to do is practice these chords and keep in mind that the order of the notes doesn't necessarily matter. All of these chords are what we call in root position because the name of the chord here C F G and A is being played on the left C F G and A okay so every time when the name of the chord is on the left of the piano on the bottom of the chord we call that a root position chord and we're going to start with them like this because that's the easiest to learn cool Root position chords C, F, G, and A minor. So one of the cool things that you can do is once you know these chords of by heart, I want you to learn these chords of by heart, is you can play a couple of songs. Like I said, we can play um, When I find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me But we could also play something like this It's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you there's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. 
Ok. Or despacito. So there's a lot of songs that you can play just by learning these chords. Ok. So it's super important that you learn these four chords. If you like it, I will teach you some more chords in the next video. But these are really the chords that you should definitely learn. They're being used quite a lot in a lot of songs. So it's super important that you learn how to play C major, F major, G major and A minor. If you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe to the channel right here and click that little bell. Super important so you actually get the updates. So definitely make sure to learn these chords and if you like it, I will teach you some more in the next episode. If you cannot wait for that next episode to be released, make sure to have a look in the description box down below or in the pinned comment because I've actually got a course, Piano Theory and Piano Playing Exercises, right there for you. You can get free access to that course.